And then, uh, do you have anything else? Any other fighting game news that you want to talk about? Mm, the only thing so. I want to mention is the Super Nintendo Classic that is being released. Ooh. I wasn't too big on the NES Classic, but this thing looks ridiculous. I want this thing so bad. And it even comes with hyper fighting on there. So hyper, I, was it hyper fighting or super? I'm pretty sure it's hyper fighting. It was hyper fighting? Because I think the Japanese one had super. Yeah, see this is, oh yeah, this one's hyper fighting, okay. Which is probably the better Super Nintendo version oh, yeah. anyway. For sure. hyper fighting was just a more balanced game overall. It was, yeah, definitely. You know, it was, it was broken though. Because there was a lot of shit that shouldn't have worked. No, that was the original Street Fighter 2. That things didn't work that shouldn't... Yeah, no, I think the hyperfighting port was not good, but, like, not as bad as yeah. the World Yeah, because the War original War. one, like, block a crouch medium kick was bufferable. Right. So broken. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like I think it came out in pre-order today, and it's already sold out, so it's time for me to go and try to talk to some of my Nintendo friends. Oh, man, you're going you're gonna to pull the eSports card? I have to pull the eSports card, man. I have to. What do you think about it not having the game everybody's talking about? Chrono Trigger. That's what I think. I'm, it's like... Bam. I Look, I love Chrono Trigger. It's a good Chrono game. Chrono Trigger is an amazing game, but... It's a good game. One, it's like, in a way, if you want to say that Chrono Trigger is one of the greatest video games of all time then it shouldn't be experienced on this thing, that you should experience it only in its true form. Isn't this basically its true form? Quiet. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, lawyer. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, this thing has Super Mario World. Terrific game. Absolutely. Yoshi's Island, which might be one of the, gr if not the greatest platform game ever. One of the greatest you. platform games. The fact that you can touch fuzzy and get dizzy is like the greatest thing ever. And um, Super Mario Kart, great choice. Great game. Super Mario RPG, which I have never played. Oh, okay. So that might be cool. Good Legend game. of Zelda Link to the Past. Great F-Zero, game. great game. Super Metroid, all, probably the greatest Metroidvania game of all time, tied with so Symphonies of the Night. It's really hard to say which of those two Good is ones, better. yes. Uh, Hyper Fighting, great. probably the best version of Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo. Sure. Uh, Super Punch Out, mm -hmm. which I have not played yet, and I had thought about getting a GBA giant GBA, just so I could buy it on Virtual Console. But if I can get this, I don't need to do that anymore. I can sure. actually play this version. Yeah. So that would be valuable to me. Super Castlevania Four, which a lot of people like, I didn't like so much. I don't remember loving it, but I think it was good. It didn't feel as hardcore as the older Castlevania games. I, see. I thought Whipping Eight Ways was too good. I guess I just don't really. It doesn't stand out in my mind, really. Mm, okay, okay. But definitely Donkey Kong Country did. You know what? I never played Donkey Kong Country. Oh, it was a very good one. Because I didn't like it at first. I was just like, eh, the graphics. I don't like the graphics. And they really? sent me that VHS tape. and I was Oh, I got like, it too. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was like, I don't know. It got overhyped to me, but I've heard so many good things it about it. It's such should, a good game. I should probably go back and play it. Which So I, if I get this thing, I'll stream that for sure. I'll stream that and Super Punch-Out. I'll stream a whole bunch of these games probably. Mega Man X. Mega Man X, which is Kirby, great. I've never been a fan of Kirby games, can I be honest? I, they're done. They don't do too much for me. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of Kirby games. Like, I just, I feel like they, I don't know. Like, they have some gimmicks, but it's, like, not terribly mm -hmm. interesting. Anyway. Final uh, Fantasy 3. Yeah, 6. Of 3. Course, which is one of my top three video games of all time. It says 3, though. Yeah, it's listed as 3. Which, yeah. Because it's going to be the U.S. America. It's going to be the U.S. port of the America. game, right? So it's going to say 3 on the titles and everything America. like that. So. Um, Star Fox. And then here's the interesting one. Star Fox 2, which apparently was all translated and made it and everything was all ready to go and it was just never released. So this is actually going to be the first time that a right. lot of people are going to have access to this game. It's just going to be really interesting. Yes. Like, it's going to be strange that that, 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 that even happened. So, uh, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Oof. God. Soundtrack in that game. Good one. The boss fights in that game. That game, like, that was, the, that was one of the games when the Super Nintendo came out and I played that game and I was like... This is what video games were meant to be. Like, I mean, honestly, like me as a kid oh in high boy. school, like this—that is 
what video games are supposed to be. Yeah. The first time I played that boss where you're jumping on the missiles uh -huh. was one of the most exhilarating video game experiences I've it? ever had. Great I was game. like, they're shooting missiles and I'm hopping from missile to missile. This is the craziest thing. Like, it was the most ridiculous thing. Yeah, man. God, that game is so good. Secret of Mana. That's That might be... Certainly, that's in like the top three or four of the games that I played the most on. Oh, Super really? NES. That, uh, I love that game so much. You know, I got all the way to the end and I never beat it. Oh man, it's because so good. I did the stupid thing where I got to the very end. I was like, "Well, let's level up every character for every weapon," and that just took fucking forever. And I just got sick of it and I never beat it. Well, I did do that, and you beat it. But did you beat it before you did that? Uh, yeah, we totally, yeah. Yeah, see, that was why it worked. I I should have did it that way. Instead. But that's why I ended up playing so much of it, because I, uh, okay, okay. I actually grinded in that game. Uh, Earthbound, which I also have not played, even though everyone says it's a great what? game. Yeah, I never played Earthbound. Can you believe that? I've never, well, I, I don't know. I mean, everybody misses the game the here and there, but man. I've never played any of the Mother games, yeah. Wow, yeah, you definitely got to do that. And then Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, good Which one. is fantastic, although, oh god, that game basically will kill you. Very fun game. Yes, it is great. Man, yeah, <laughs> Earthbound is very good. And uh, and I don't feel like leaving Chrono Trigger out is uh, that much of a miss. Yeah, like I said, it's a I good mean, game. Honestly, like, is it among those? Like, I feel like Secret of Mana probably should have been taken out for Chrono Trigger. Oh, but... I totally disagree. I think they made exactly the right choice. Okay, okay, okay. It's way better. It's not really the same kind of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's... there are definitely a lot of games on the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo was just the most freaking fantastic console ever. Like to this day, yeah, it is probably still the most amazing console ever. Those though, that was the period of time because I was in high school when that thing was out, right? And so that literally, I was at that time where the console could change your life. Sure. You know what I mean? So that thing, like, was, oh, man, the games that I played on that thing were revolutionary. Of course. And, oh, man, it was so ridiculous. I'm not being a hipster about it. That's That's been my thought going back 20 years. Long, 25 years, maybe. But that is what hipsters are, right? Like, oh, that I thought that way before anybody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it, I think all of my friends but one thought the same way. There was, like, one guy who was like, nah, Chrono Trigger's the best, and we were like... Clearly, Final Fantasy is a better game. Oh, we talking about Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger well, now? Well, basically anything. Oh, okay. Like, it was just, he, his position was that Chrono Trigger was the best. And mm. we were like, obviously no. Yeah. But, hey, some people, uh, some people Chrono like Chrono Trigger it. just had It's some, a good game. I just There was just a lot of really cool story developments in there. And it probably had one of my favorite video game jokes where the bad guy was like, we're going to do this. And they play this heroic music. He's like, this music is too heroic. Stop. And they no. play like a, you know, more bad guy music. And yeah. He's like, that's better. Uh, it's definitely good. And it has good music. Although, <sighs> definitely not as good as Final Fantasy or Secret of Mana. Yeah. Final Fantasy 6 slash 3 yeah. is, I mean, I already said it's one of my top three video games of all time. So that's, With that's good be, reason. It's going to be better than pretty much anything else. Yeah. So that With game good is, reason. And the most, dude, my favorite article is Breaking Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy Three. If you read it and see how that game was coded, like, it is amazing that that game worked. <laughs> it is amazing that that game worked because the jank that they had to put in there, but all they did was just make sure none of the jank could be accessed. <laughs> Like, the way that the game was designed and put together was so crazy. Well, like, it worked it was, out. It, it was unbelievable that the game even was able to be played. So. I don't know how Secret of Mana felt meant. It was like, it had such good everything. The story was good, Secret and the characters was were good. And I remember Chrono Trigger got kind of weird, because at one point in time you were playing, like, Combat Donkey Kong. Good. You know, and, mm. like, the, 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 like, the secret endings weren't really, like, oh. secret endings. It was just use that teleport point on the second playthrough at every possible point so that you can get the different endings. Oh, Including the, the, the super fast ending, which I, was genius, by the way. I remember getting all the endings, but I don't remember how I did uh, that. The super... The, so so there was one where you could just basically go there, because when you play New Game Plus, you had all your stats, and so you could beat the main bad guy with just two characters. So the very first possible point, you could just teleport straight to the main bad guy and fight him. And then they were like... Wow, like, you're thinking than I did. And then you would basically run. You know, the ending was it would transport you to a place where you could talk to all the developers. There were actually like people walking around, and they had the three gods. One of the gods was Nobu Uematsu that you could talk to. I in the probably didn't beat that. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Probably didn't get and then that. you talked to that, and after you talked to everyone, they were like, well, as a person who loves beating games super fast, we will give you your reward super fast as well. And then they played the credits at like 10 times speed. It's like, awesome. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. and it well, was pretty amazing. I don't think I knew that. And now that I know that, I have to reevaluate Chrono Trigger <laughs> and, and place it uh, <laughs> just a little bit outside that list. Okay, okay. There you go. Whatever. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, man. Super Nintendo, hard to beat among the best consoles ever. Mm-hmm. Like, best gaming platforms ever. Man, short list. Super Nintendo and maybe, like, the Windows operating system. Uh, PlayStation 2, probably, right? PlayStation 2 is up there. Because that was where Symphonies of the Night... And, no, Symphonies of the Night, of the Night was PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1, maybe. Because that's where Symphonies of the Night, Metal Gear Solid 1 came into play. Those are, like, two of some of the greatest games. Like, most uh, genre morphing games. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go with Windows operating system. Windows operating system doesn't count. Why not? It's, it's too nebulous. Well, that's why I picked it, because it, it encompasses so many things. Obviously, I'm cheating. Windows operating system. God, you make it sound like PCs are good for gaming or something like that. PCs also have every game from the Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, <laughs> Nintendo, PlayStation 2, the Dreamcast. Not the Nintendo, legally! The Nintendo 64. I'm not saying that I have all of them, but it's not legal. I don't have all of them. I think I actually kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay, let me repeat that again. Any case. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, all right. Uh, that's all I had to say. Okay. That's all I have to say. If you have anything else, if not, I will remind everybody that this weekend at the Anime Expo, Okamoto Kitchen will be there. And uh, they will also be doing a special event with uh, Atlas. Uh, let me see if they have a date for that here. Uh, the Persona 5 themed truck. Oh, I see. So they'll basically have a Persona 5 themed truck and the regular truck. Since they have two trucks oh. now, so they'll have both there. So the Persona 5 themed truck will be parked at 601 West Pico Boulevard with the newer truck parked at 1268 South Figueroa. If you look up uh, Anime News Network and Okamoto Kitchen, you'll find the article. So it's just, it's on AnimeNewsNetwork.com and then just do a search for Okamoto Kitchen and you'll be able to find that information. Definitely go check it out. Uh, Great food. Everything there is fantastic. You will not find a bad dish there to save your life. So uh, amazing stuff. Yeah, man, where is Uniracers? Why isn't that on Uniracers was a fun game. That's a great point. Who, who mentioned that in this chat? Katy Perry, FGC. Genius. Yes, I kind Genius. of agree with that. I kind of agree that with that. That game actually. was a blast. Uniracers was fun. Like, me and my friends made fun of it, and then we saw it. It was one of those things where you make fun of it, and then you see it at, uh, like, Blockbuster, and you're like, let's just rent it. Yeah. And you rent it, and you're like, this game is really fun. For sure. It was really fun. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that it game. It just had really good gameplay. And it was very pretty at the time. Yeah. Man, we accepted things that... Different era. I'm just trying to see what else might be missing here. Cause I just what, are you looking up at the top 25 SNES games top, of all time? Yeah, just looking up top game list. I mean, look. Look, the, the things that popped up here. Super Mario World, Chrono Trigger, of course, right? Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Secret of Mana, Donkey Kong Country. They're all on there. Kart, RPG, Yoshi's Island, Cost of Three, TMNT, Turtles of Time. Okay. That is definitely missing. One. Turtles in Time is definitely missing. I wonder if there were... Are these? Are they all Nintendo? No, they're not all Nintendo. Probably, they're not. No, no, yeah, no, they're not. That uh, is definitely missing there. TMNT Turtles in Time is super good. Super, super good. Okay, so okay, here's a all right, list. What do you got here? What do you here's got? a list here. Yeah. Let, let, let's, let's scroll here. They, all right, all right. This is IGN's list. Okay, all right, so, top 100 Should games. I even start from... Why is Unirazors at 98? What are this they is, doing? This list is already invalid. All right, all right, hopefully they get one of these. Right. Final Fight, Tiny Toons and Oh, Vengeance. you can't. This is 100. You can't say 100 of them. Yeah, okay. Let's go start but, at... Let's go start at, like... Uh, let's go start at 50. How's that? Well, I just wanted to see if there's anything that oh, like, jumps out right, to you yeah, as being yeah, okay, like, okay, mention okay, that okay, one. Gotcha, gotcha, uh, uh, Final Fight, no. Good one. Probably wouldn't no. have it in there. <laughs> the Star Wars games. Those were good but bad. The, the best thing about the Empire Strikes video game is that when you died and the continue options came out, one, one option was try, or, try again and the other one was quit. 
And if you pick the first one, it was do or do not. <laughs> try. And I if swear. you picked quit, it would go, that is why you fail. Ah, that's, that's awesome. The, that was the best. That was the best. Stunt race, FX, maybe. Oh, Maximum Carnage. That was a fun one. I never played Pilot Wings. It's also not a really on good there. one. Although, Pilot Wings 64, I felt was the one. Yeah, Pilot Wings was still very tech demo y. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Shadowrun was. Uh, no, Shadowrun's. Was Shadowrun the one that I'm thinking of? I couldn't tell you. I'm not in Shadowrun's your brain. Shadowrun's the one that, that had, was like one of the first Polygon games, wasn't it? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Uh, obviously, maybe not. No. I'm thinking of a different game. I'm okay. Of a different game. All right. Uh, NFL '94, uh, Madden. Of, was it this one? Out of this. Ooh, world? Populous. Out of this world. Was that the one that I'm thinking of? That's the oh, one. I, I remember. Out of this world. Out yeah, of this world. Sure. yeah, yeah. Out of this world is the one that I was. I remember about. that. That was a that yeah. was a fun game. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I heard good things about our type. Yeah, our type was good. Yep, for sure. Um, NHL '94. It's a classic. Yeah, NHL '94 is definitely. Earthworm Jim. Uh, Axley was a great game. I loved Axley. Uh, Zombies Wait, Ain't My Neighbor, I heard good things. Super Bomberman. Gradius 3. I could do with that one. Uh, Demon's Crest, some people mentioned that. That was the uh, Red Armor game. Yeah, Ogre Battle was really good. NBA Jam was NBA super good. Jam. Sim City was really good yeah, on Super Nintendo. It was, but it had, come on. It has one of the best game music ever. Was it different than on PC? Yeah, yeah, it's different than oh, it was yeah. on PC. That one had unique music. Um... The 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 great the Sim City one that had that really just like crazy song I, I love that song but uh, anyways Legend of the Mystical Ninja would the Lost Vikings the Lost Vikings yo Blizzard that's yeah not only is it obviously extremely important because Blizzard and that's sort of, uh, uh-huh. but also it was just like really unique gameplay it was so good very unique it was gameplay so good yeah it was really, really great great good. game if anybody's never played it highly recommend Tetris, Tetris and Doctor Mar but though anyone? but those were originally on the NES mm-hmm. right so that's okay. Uh, MK2. MK2. That might have been all right. Not Although that great not game. very ar- accurate. Um, yeah. Mario Paint. Yeah, just interesting, but not like a good game. And stuff. Actually, they don't have a... I guess there's no really point in putting it. Uh, Populous. I played Populous, Populous was a lot. up there. No, I already mentioned it. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, I put okay. it out. Yeah, 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 I didn't see that. Uh, Act Razor. Populous was really Zero, interesting. Super Punch-Out. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, obviously. And, and four. Final Fantasy IV. Okay, four. sure, sure. It's amazing. Good uh, one. And then these are all the standard Obviously, ones. Obviously, Street Fighter, top. Zelda's on the top. Yeah. This one gets it wrong by saying Chrono's trigger is number two, but, you know, and not everybody can be accurate. Not everybody. They put Secret Mana at 11. Wow. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, Tournament Fighters actually would have good, been a good one. And, yeah, it's, kind of, it's a little bit niche, but, yeah. Yeah, but it, it's, it was a, it's a great game. It was a fun fighting game. Absolutely. Because like, the thing about it is the Super Nintendo was the era where there was like 7,000 fighting game ripoffs and they were all terrible. Yes. Then you play Tournament Fighters, you're like, why is this actually good? It actually was good. Like, me and my brother were playing it and we were like, why is this fun? Like, why does this actually feel like yep. they knew what they were doing? Yep, yep. I'm with you, man. So, that game was a lot of fun. So, yeah, there were definitely some other ones on there. Um, Super Battletoads? Or was that Battletoads? Are you thinking of Battletoads versus Double Dragon? <laughs> Oh man, uh, I played that. That was that the fighting game? No, 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 no that no, wasn't. No, no. That was just the one with yeah. the, the. It was a crossover no, right. game. Yeah. yeah, no. But did, did you ever play the Double Dragon fighting game? Mm-mm. Yeah, it was alright. Actually, not that bad. Oh, dude, WWF Royal Rumble. Let me tell you how entertaining that game was. There was the Royal Rumble mode, and like the things that you could do in that game were so fun. My parents used to own a video store. And me and my brother would have to open on some of the weekends, you know, free labor, free child labor, basically, right? That's legal. And so what we would do is we would bring our Super Nintendo there, hook it up to the CRT that they used to play movies sometime. And sometimes we would play games, but you didn't want to be playing games when customers came in because it just looked rude, right? Okay. So one of the things that we did is we took WWF Royal Rumble, we put it on there, and pretty much if you ever climbed the turnbuckle in the Royal Rumble mode, the computer would run at the turnbuckle and hit it and you would fall out and you would lose right away. So we would always just pick whoever we didn't want to be in the Royal Rumble, huh. and we would climb up to the turnbuckle, let the computer knock us out, and then we would just leave the rest of it running. Wow. And the computer would just fight itself in this giant Royal Rumble, and it was the most entertaining That's actually thing. really fun. So we just had that on in the background while we were just in it, and some people would come in and like from far away not be paying attention, and then when they came up, they're like, oh wait, this is a video game? Like, you know, they weren't paying attention heavily cool, enough, man. and it was really funny. Oh, that game was the best, dude. I love that. Oh, man. 
All right. What was that double dragon fighting game called? There was a double dragon fighting game, huh? Are you sure it's not like the, the, the versus mode in the original double dragon, which just used the two giant versions of each other, and I like you could barely so. fight each other? Me Maybe. and my brother used to play that. We even bought the video game Trojan because there was a versus mode. We were ahead of Street Fighter 2 even before Street Fighter 2 came out because we kept trying to find good versus mode to play against each That's other. Funny. Yeah. <sighs> it was on Neo Geo? When did I even play it then? Yeah, there was an arcade Double Dragon fighting game. Yeah, for sure. That was in the arcade on Neo Geo. Maybe Is that the one like, that you're thinking of? Maybe. My neighbor had a Neo Geo, but uh, I don't know. Okay. It's like 25 years ago. Oh. Okay. And I was but a wee child at the time, 25 years ago. You were what? Not seven that wee. or eight? Seven. That's pretty wee. All right. Someone said it was on Genesis. No, now people are saying that there was on SNES. Also, were you a person who called it SNES or SNES? Ha, I never even heard of SNES. That's absurd. Really? <laughs> okay. I, this is a, what an absurd conversation. Okay, because I've definitely heard some people tell me that I'm weird for calling it SNES as what? opposed to SNES. Who would call it SNES? Dude, SNES is a terrible name. Come it takes on. way too long to say. It's, that's it's like crazy. It's like saying Jay Chenzo instead of James Chen. It's just way too many syllables. I haven't done it in forever. <laughs> SNES, yeah, some people did say SNES as well. Oh yeah, so. I heard that occasionally. Yeah. Double Dragon Five: The Shadow Falls. Yeah, this is definitely the game that I'm thinking of. What system was that on? Uh, S SNES. It is. That's not a system. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Super NES. I called it Super NES usually. Oh, Super NES. Yeah, I just called it the SNES. Yeah, I said SNES too, but SNES, Super NES. SNES. SNES. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Shadow Falls. Bam. I did, that's the game I was thinking of. And that's a terrible, that was a terrible game. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say it was terrible. It was, like, much better than many of the crap fighting uh, games. Okay, there was, like, okay. just a ton yeah, of yeah, total yeah, crap. Uh, it wasn't total crap, but it wasn't great either. Yeah, Street Combat is always the pinnacle Street of Combat. terrible fighting games on the Super Nintendo. Just look it up one day. Look it up and read the history on it, because it's actually Rama one half that they repainted oh, I remember to be the yeah, most yeah. terrible game on the entire planet. Right. They replaced all the characters like the panda and Ranma in boy and girl form with like crazy evil juggalo clown and like weird robot cyborg and like cyberpunk dude. Like it was pretty much the worst thing. Cause I played that street combat game with no idea of what the history was. And I was like, this is the worst game <laughs> I've ever played. So that's funny. Yeah, it was not a pretty game, the uh, Dragon Ball fighting okay. game. Like, look, look at these screenshots. I think I remember seeing these. Well, at now. the time, it seemed pretty, I guess. But... Yeah. I remember, I definitely remember seeing the screenshots of this. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that. I never actually played it, so. Yeah. Uh, video games. Anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a uh, much less functional Windows version, uh, Super NES version of my Windows games that I can play on a little hardware for no reason. I don't know why you would buy it. It looks cool, I guess. I'm a collector. It looks yeah, it looks cool. I understand that those things to you are just game playing functions. They certainly are. <laughs> I understand just the they're just functions. Correct. But for me, it's the fact that it's the actual little unit and I can plug it into a TV. It's and not the same as the old unit. It. Yeah, I, it's, just, it's not. It's a new old new uh, new old unit. Did you see the, 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 the meme of like the, the, the alternate colors of it where they took the top half and they made it all yellow? Yeah. <laughs> that was genius. Nice um, work on the functions. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'll play Super Nintendo on my wine on my Linux. That's right. I'm going to get way deep. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> oh, man. All right, well, that's probably about it, huh? Okay. Uh, next week, I'm not going to be here because it's July 4th. Oh, okay. I will be, I don't know, doing something, I guess. Okay. Uh, but we, the one after that will be the week of Evo. Oh. Which we definitely need to do yeah, a proper show for. Do. Yeah, okay. Like an introductory, okay. pay okay. attention okay. to, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll definitely do that. And then um, maybe then next week, if you're not around, then maybe I'll do like a special stream or something because I still want to stream Tekken and uh, Injustice story mode which I haven't mm. done yet so I think that would be I fun. haven't played the uh, Tekken one but yeah Injustice yeah. was very good so maybe I'll do that for 4th of July 
or something like that. So. Uh, yeah. Um, somebody said that. I just wanted to. Yeah, that's right. You can play those games on your phone. Anyway, nice. and have been able to for like a long time. It's not like last year they came out with like a phone right, emulator. Right. It's like when phones Dude, became I have a, I have smartphones. They were immediately like, here you go. I have one that was um, an emulator that was released because you know it's iPhone, so it's harder to get games out onto it, right? It's harder to get emulators out on iPhone. Oh, the Wall like Garden. That. Yes. But there was actually a game which is not available anymore that was like a weird, em- it was just supposed to be an emulated version of an old arcade game, but actually it like can link to your Dropbox account, and like if you can point it to like ROMs, it would play a bunch of the ROMs on there. Like there was a Super Nintendo one, and there was a, so they like snuck them on there Genius. that way, and I still have them, so I could still play those games. Like I was playing Axelay on my phone one point in time. Oh, that's very cool. Super happy. Not that I would ever. No, actually, I ne- I heard my never. friend. My friend said that he was doing that. I would never do such things. I did play Chrono Trigger on my phone at one point because it's like not a game where you need to have fast action. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Like I tried, uh, I don't know, do, do, Metroid or do, something, and it just like doesn't work on a phone at least at the time because you couldn't do, 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 move around do, fast do, enough. Do. You know, I have never played Final Fantasy Tactics. That's a game that I thought about oh. getting on my phone and playing because I know it, the unofficial version is available out there. And Dasibro has always told me that because he asked like, what game is more meaningful to you, Final Fantasy Tactics or Final Fantasy VI? And I said VI, free. But I was like, but I never played what Tactics, right? Yeah. I've never played Tactics. And I was like, it wouldn't matter if I did, because it would never mean anything as right. much to me because of the time that I For did. sure. And he's like, what if it did? And I was like, it won't happen, but I would love to play it and see. What a, what a thing to say. Yeah. What if it did? Yeah, I know. What if it will affect you as much as the first time you saw a real good story in a fight in a video game? Yeah. Because that's, that's how it was for me. For Final Fantasy III, it was three where yes. I come from. It was uh-huh. three, uh-huh. all right? Uh, that was the first time that I played a game that had such a good story that I was like, wow, video games can really be mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. something else. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Like I've, I always say this, Final Fantasy VI, as soon as I hear the ending music, I start tearing up, dude. First game that I teared up at, I was probably <laughs> seven years old. Oh, man, that game was so great, dude. Anyway, let's See, get out of here. I'm just thinking about that theme song right now, and I'm like... Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Any case... Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, again, we'll be on break next week because it is uh, July 4th. And uh, he will be doing stuff. Uh, I will be. I might stream for your entertainment. I will dance for you as a monkey. And uh, the week after that will be right before Evo already. Yeah, so but, we'll definitely have an Evo show. Yeah, but also don't forget, though, starting this weekend all the way through next weekend is Summer Games Done Quick. Ah, oh, that's this weekend starting? I, not this weekend. Is it this weekend starting? It might be. Ooh. I'm going to try to go. Oh, yeah, okay. You should probably know when it is then. Because it's on, cause on Thursday they're doing another Tetris block and like Kevin DDR and all those guys uh, cool, there. So right. I want to go there and hang out with them and say hi and everything. It says like uh, that. July 9th. July 9th. So not this weekend, the, so, the weekend yeah. after that. Yes. Oh, July 2nd to 9th, excuse oh, me. Oh, 2nd to the, yeah, so it is this weekend to next weekend, yeah. So I haven't got my plane wow. ticket yet, which is probably terrible, but I've well, just been super busy. Uh, July 1st is my birthday. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yay, happy birthday, David. My Google Calendar reminded me today. You forgot? Mm-hmm. I have it in my Google Calendar. Fair I have enough. to every year. Fair enough. Uh, but here's, here's the thing that I'm getting. Here's what I'm getting from my birthday. So... Uh, a certain good friend of mine is a professional pastry chef. No, not you. No. Not who I'm talking about. No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so my, my girlfriend's a, a pastry chef. And uh, every year she makes me a cake that I always ask to be something new. Just okay. make some wild stuff for Okay, me. okay. Just whatever the craziest crap okay. you can think of. And uh, my favorite so far is rose water, pistachio, cardamom, something. Super good. Okay. Mm. So anyway, I'll find out on my birthday what my cake is. Well, it's gonna I, be something weird, man. I'm gonna, I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm gonna text her. I'm gonna tell her to make you some fart milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, 
that's right. The I got a girlfriend. Oh no, you found out. Oh no. Five years later. I thought everybody knew already. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. See ya. I'll let you know how the cake goes in two weeks. All right. Peace out, everybody. We, we, we almost forgot. We almost forgot. But the chat reminded me. Rose water, not road water. <laughs> Rose water. Don't be a weirdo. Uh, I almost forgot. All right, here we go. We cannot forget this. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Did you know that the Egyptian word for cat is now? <laughs> is it? Yes. Now. It's a good name.